Max Mercury, originally known as Windrunner, is a unique DC Comics character created by Mark Waid and Greg LaRocque. His story begins in the 19th century as a U.S. cavalry scout who discovers his super speed abilities and seeks to connect with the speed force. However, each attempt to fully access the speed force propels him forward in time, leading him to adapt various identities, including Whirlwind and Quicksilver, before settling on Max Mercury in the 1990s. Over the decades, he fights alongside different generation of heroes, becoming a mentor to speedsters like Wally West, The Third Flash, and Bart Allen, also known as Impulse. Known for his deep philosophical understanding of the speed force, Max plays crucial roles in significant storylines such as The Return of Barry Allen and provides wisdom and guidance throughout the DC Universe's major events. His mystical and meditative approach to super speed, combined with his extensive experience, makes him a revered figure among the Flash family and a fascinating character within the DC mythos. Hey yo everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving deep into one of the Flash family's fascinating character, Max Mercury. Let's start with the packaging. The front of the box prominently displays McFarlane Gold Labor Collection, DC Multiverse, Max Mercury. There's a large clear window showing up the figure and its accessories. On the right side, you'll see McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Max Mercury from The Flash. The left side continues the window display and also says McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Max Mercury. Finally, the back of the box features artwork from The Flash comics. That's it for the packaging. Now, let's crack this open and see if McFarlane did justice to this version of Max Mercury in action figure form. His skill is 7.25 inches or 18.5 centimeter. He comes with the standard McFarlane art card with the short biography at the back. Speed effects which every speedster needs. And a standard McFarlane stand with the DC logo. At first look, my impression is that this is an obvious reuse of the Dead Man action figure that they released before, which I do have no problem because. Uh, that Deadman figure actually is a very good figure. I remember enjoying its articulation. And looking at the character, yeah, it is actually a simple reuse of that mold. So this is definitely an, an easy test for McFarlane. Or is it? Well, guys, I will state the obvious here. This is a very simple character to do. Just reuse the dead man uh, mold and then give him, a, you know, a new head that will represent Max Mercury. Okay, look at that head, okay? So, yeah, simple reuse of the dead man because they do have the same look. And then just create a head sculpt that looks like that. Unfortunately, guys, McFarlane dropped the ball here because look at that head sculpt. I mean, man.
Does that look anything like Max Mercury? This this looks like a guy in cosplay wearing a Max Mercury costume. I mean, come on, McFarlane. You've been on a roll when it comes to the head sculpt. I really love the head sculpt that you've been creating lately. I mean, the Superboy, the Atom, they all had amazing head sculpt. Then why did you fail on this one? I don't know. That Does Max, Max Mercury have a young version? Because all the comics that I've read before, well, I'm not really that, I'm, I'm not going to pretend that I am that familiar with this character, but every comics I read that involves him, wherein he appeared, this is how he looks. He's kind of, you know, he's not this young. This looks like a teenage boy. I mean, uh, I don't know. It's like a completely different company created this. This head sculpt. Definitely a feel for McFarlane. I mean, they were on a roll. They made this head sculpt, which is amazing. Then they made this head sculpt, also amazing. So how can they go from that to this? This doesn't look like Max Mercury for me. First of all, this head sculpt looks too young. And yeah, he just looks like a guy in a cosplay costume. As far as the body is concerned, the torso, the hands, the legs, easy repaint, easy reuse of the dead man body mold. This definitely does look like Max Mercury's costume. So why feel on the head sculpt? Anyway, guys, uh, I don't, I, I don't know if I even want to go with articulation. <laughs> anyway, I remember enjoying the dead man action figure, so I'm thinking that this has good articulation. So you can look that up, you can look down, side to side, then the. Then for the hand articulation, there's that. Then there's that cut there. Double elbow. Then for the wrist, double fag. Abdominal cut, waist rotation. This is actually just one of those walls that actually has great range when it comes to the abdomen. So this is a pretty good mold. For the leg, thigh swivel actually works. You can kick that far. You can kick back that far so he can do the split. Double jointed knee. Ankle fever, to articulation, then you can do. So as I said, as far as just articulation, this is actually an amazing mold. So that's actually why I am so happy that they use it for Max Mercury. For a speedster, this is a pretty good mold for it to use. But why? Why? Guys, explain. I don't know. McFarlane, explain, please. Why? If there are any of you who are familiar, more familiar with this character than me, could you please explain to me? Am I overreacting here? Am I wrong? Is there a version of the character in the comics that he actually looks like this? So maybe I'm just wrong. Because, yeah... For me, this is how Max Mercury should look like. 
sorry, I think, yeah, for me, this is how Max Mercury should look like. And not like this. This would have been a good addition to the Flash family if you're collecting that. And if you're a fan of the Flash, Max Mercury is part of the Flash family. But yeah, I believe that McFarlane dropped the ball on this one when it came to the head sculpt. The head sculpt is the only thing that they, uh, I don't know, guys. Um, anyway, for me, I think it is a simple pass. If, unless if you are a really big fan of the Flash family and somehow you can find a way to replace that head sculpt. Um, for me, this figure is a simple pass. It's an easy pass, I mean. Anyway, guys, if you've reached this part of my video, thanks a lot. Thank you for the support. If you like my video, uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And again, guys, enjoy life and keep collecting.